Hey, PT for Studio Live today. Now, are you producing songs here in GarageBand on iPhone or iPad and you're getting your mix sounding really good, but you just want to take it to the next level and you want to be able to master your songs here in GarageBand just using the GarageBand software? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how a couple of simple tweaks can take your GarageBand mix up to the next level and make it close to radio ready by mastering here in GarageBand. Let's go. So here we are, we have the iPad back again and we are about to do our final mastering tweak. So we'll dive in here and I'll show you the few simple steps that we're gonna do here to turn this mix into a master. Okay, so here we are for one last time. Here is our mix. We're getting quite familiar with what this looks like. It's 30-ish tracks of goodness here. We are now going to master this track. So there's a couple of very quick steps, and sorry if this is going to be underwhelming, but we have the mix almost right. And the one thing that the GarageBand does do well here in iOS is it does automatic limiting. So it's going to actually bring the overall volume of this up close to zero dB, which means there's not going to be a whole lot we need to do. It's not going to be sitting really quiet. We're not going to do a lot of work to master this, but there's a few things that we can do to make sure it's sounding right. So we'll come out of here first of all, and we'll go back to our main screen. We now need to export this song as a WAV file. So we're going to hit select. We're gonna tap on our for, for the Birds number four, and we're gonna hit share down the bottom here. We're gonna tap on song, and we're gonna do it as an uncompressed WAV file here. I'm gonna tap share in the top right corner here. So what we're doing is we're exporting, we're gonna hit open in, we're exporting a high quality version of this song that we can then bring back into GarageBand, and then we can do our mastering tweak. So we're gonna do a few little moves here, mostly based around EQ, and limiting, which is just going to sort of make a few EQ adjustments to our bass, our mids, our treble, and it's also going to do limiting, which is going to bring up the overall volume of our song. So we'll wait for this to export, and then we'll bring it back into a track here in GarageBand. Okay, so now it, that took about two minutes and don't be surprised if it takes a while because we've got a lot of tracks here. So if you've got a long track with lots of different bits and pieces, it's gonna take a little while. We'll tap on save to files now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump it right here on my iPad. I'm gonna to go to GarageBand and I'm gonna hit add. Now it's telling me I've already got an item here because I've already had a bit of a test run of this. I'm gonna replace that exported item with this version of For The Birds. And now we're gonna tap done and we are done. What we now need to do is we need to create a new document. We're gonna tap here and go create new document. We need an audio recorder and tap on that one. And what it gives us here is a clean audio signal. And this is exactly what we want. We wanna bring in our audio file. So we'll tap here and the top left, near the top left, to go back to our track view. And you'll see here we've got our loop icon, which has an eight next to it at the moment in the top right here. We're gonna tap on that loop icon. Ignore this for now. This is just telling me I've stored some files somewhere where GarageBand doesn't suggest I store them. I'll talk about that another time. But anyway, all of my WAV files that I have here are stored right here in my GarageBand folder. So we know it's this one here for the birds number four, our WAV file, we'll tap and hold, and we'll drag that onto our track. And now because we have automatic set here, if you find you've only got eight bars, you probably don't have automatic set there. So make sure that in your song sections, you have automatic. If not, you're only gonna get eight bars of this song. But here is our whole song for the birds in one stereo track. So we're gonna turn off our metronome. We don't need to worry about anything else in here except for this song. So if we tap play now, it is gonna play the WAV file version of this song. Let's do that now. And there you can hear, so you can see in the dials there that we've got a stereo version of this track. So this here is a stereo track. If you don't believe me, we'll come down here. So you can see our meters over there on the left are going, the left and the right is going at different levels. So it's definitely our stereo track. But you can see here that we've got quite a bit 
as I just move that, we've got quite a bit of what we call dynamic range. And dynamic range is a good thing, but we also want to make sure that these quieter parts are boosted up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some limiting to boost up our overall volume. And we're also going to use some EQ just to tame and to tweak some of the different EQ areas in our lows, our mids and our highs, our trebles that we want to actually enhance or drop down. So let's jump in and do that now. So now that we have a stereo track, we can treat this just like we would any other track. We can go to our effects here, we can go to plugins and EQ, and we can go ahead and add anything we want. Now the first thing we're gonna do is turn off the effect EQ. I'll be very honest with you, I don't even really know what the effect EQ does because we have absolutely no effects here. There's just tone and squeeze, and all squeeze does is add some compression. So in terms of what the effect EQ does, I think it's just this tone knob that we have over here. It's not even really that. Um, we're just gonna leave it off because we don't want anything. Anyway, we'll come back to our processing here. We're gonna go to our plugins and EQ. We do want our visual EQ. So this is our opportunity to make any final EQ tweaks on the entire mix. So as I've been listening to this mix, I've been thinking about it and working out what I need to add and remove from this mix. So I'm gonna go to the middle section here where I know there's a lot going on and we'll play it and let's just start tweaking this EQ to see if there's any changes we need to make. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. One thing you always say is look out for yourself. Nobody else is gonna keep you safe and make you satisfied. And that's something that I just can't come to terms with. You can keep yourself protected from society and all the friends you don't belong the way we'll all move on without you and they'll say it's for the birds it's for the birds it's for the birds it's for the birds Okay, so what I've done there is I've actually made, I don't usually recommend this, but I've made three boosts here. I've boosted at 200 hertz by one dB. I've boosted just under a thousand, a one kilohertz at uh, one dB again. And up the top here, I've added one and a half dB up at 10,000, just to add some air, some top end to this uh, song. So I'm going to play this back and I'll just turn it off and on just to see if I've actually made the right decisions here on my EQ. So let's play this now and I'll turn it, I'll leave it on and I'll turn it off and we'll see the difference. And if you open up your eyes and look around, you'll start to find that you gave up the daily grind for something worse. Yeah, not bad. I think we probably need to either bring this down a bit or not put this in at all. I'm going to bring it down. We're just going to go 1 dB and we're going to do it a little bit higher there. So let's play this now. What you want to hear. Believe in everything that you were told when you were growing up. After all, your happiness is all that matters in the end. Yeah, we're going to go with that. And again, this is we're getting to the point where it's very much taste oriented here. So if you're not hearing what I'm hearing, if you're hearing different things to what I'm hearing, it's probably because you like a bit more bass, you like a bit more treble. All I've done here is I've kind of boosted a few frequencies that I wanted to really hear in the mix. And we haven't really turned it up by much. We've only turned it up by a couple of dB here. So it shouldn't make much difference and it shouldn't be boosting the signal or increasing or clipping at this point. What we do want to now do though is add some limiting here. So we're going to go edit here. We're going to go to add and we're going to add in our audio unit extensions and we're going to go to our peak limiter so we've got our peak limiter au plugin on here if we tap on the little orange button here we can go into our settings for this peak limiter now we need to be really careful with the limiter here. This is actually designed for GarageBand in Mac OS, but it's been implemented here in iOS in a bit of a clunky form. So that's why we have this sort of strange looking interface here. It's not very pretty 
and it doesn't really do the job that we would think we would have as a limiter here in iOS. But we're going to use it anyway to see if we can just boost a little bit of our volume because usually, to be honest, what I would do is I would dump this into my PC and I would use Reaper or some other sort of audio, digital audio workstation on my PC to actually do my mastering. I'm going to try and master this one in GarageBand for this project. So we'll see what we can do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride this pre-gain up a little bit and just try and get a little bit of extra volume without getting to the point where we're going to have some what we call pumping audio, which you'll hear when you hear it. And I'll, I'll deliberately do it here so you can hear. We don't want to put too much gain in there to basically overload it and over compress the signal. So we'll play it now. I'll bring this pre-gain up a bit and you'll hear what it does to the signal as we go. One thing you always say is look out for yourself. Nobody else is gonna keep you safe and make you satisfied. And there's something that I just can't come to terms with. So at about two and a half dB, what we're doing is we're just lifting up. We're, we're still not clipping because we've got a limiter on here, but we're lifting up that signal and we're making it sound a little bit fuller. And that's going to bring up the overall volume of everything here, but keep a little bit of that dynamic rate. So this is about where I want it. And you'll notice my attack time here, I've set at the 0.005, so it's pretty fast attack. And release, I've actually stretched out a little bit here to about 0.015 seconds. So having a bit of a fast attack and a slower release means that it's going to kick in and then it's going to take a while to go off again. So this is going to make sure we don't get that sort of pumping sound. But what I'm going to do now is I'll play again. I'll turn this pre-gain all the way up and you'll see what happens if we do set this limiter too high. So you can keep yourself protected from society and all the friends you don't belong. So hopefully you can hear that that sounds awful and you can see that it, it keeps hitting our peak volume up there. So we're going to dial this back down to again to about a two and a half dB and hit play again. Oh, move on without you and they'll say it's for the bird. It's for the bird. So to me, that's sounding about right. And I'm not going to do a whole lot more because we've done a lot of work getting the sound right coming in, doing our mixing, and then adding these few little tweaks here to our master. The one thing I will do though, is I'll go to edit and I'm going to bring this limiter down underneath our EQ, just to make sure that the limiter is the last thing in our chain because it will do this chain in order. So if we have the noise gate and the compressor and the effect EQ on, it will do all of those in order. We've only got the two things, but we want the EQ to be happening first and then we want that limiting to happen right at the end. Now, once we make this move, if we go back into our limiter, you'll notice that it has reset our settings, which is very rude and it, this is one of the current bugs that we have here is that it kind of resets this every time we make a change or even when we close and then reopen a project. So we'll make that change now. Let's just listen to this in one of our louder sections with the limiter on. We'll just make sure it has kept the settings. Yes, there they are there. And we'll see what this sounds like. Things that don't align with what you want to hear. Believe in everything that you were told when you were... Okay, not bad, but we do have a little bit of slight pumping there. I'm just going to bring this down to maybe 2 dB just to give us a little bit of a boost but make sure we keep some of that dynamic range. Let's play this now. Okay, sounding good there. Let's come back to our middle section here and have a listen. The it's for the birds. It's for the birds. Okay, that is sounding okay to me. So all we need to do now is if we're happy with this final result is go back to my songs and do this immediately because of the reasons I said with the limiter before in that it changes its settings. We now need to go here. What I'll do is I'll change this my song to for the birds master. And now we can select, we can tap on this one, we can hit share and then go to song again, 
and uncompressed wave, hit share, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did the first time. We're gonna hit open in, and we're gonna wait for this to export because this is going to be our final mastered version. And what we're gonna do now is in the next video, we're gonna bring this into our PC. Let's hit save to files. We'll hit GarageBand and we'll hit add. And this is gonna be the point where we start off from our next video. So we have our mastered WAV file here. Now, now the sad thing is that I haven't found a way to directly distribute from the iPad or the iPhone with this file. So we're gonna jump back into the PC. So in the next and final episode in this series, we are going to be distributing this song. We're gonna be adding in the cover art. We're going to be adding the mastered version and we're gonna be releasing this via DistroKid to all of our online streaming and music platforms. So join me for that video where we will finish off this project. We are very close and of course, it wouldn't be right if we didn't go out without a listen to the final mastered version of this song. Now keep in mind, when you're listening to this mastered version, this is via some analog outputs from one audio interface to another. So it's not gonna sound exactly like the final version and then YouTube are gonna do their compression in there as well. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna sound uh, similar to what this final version is gonna sound like the final mastered version. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching, let's go. The things you say are true It gets me thinking about the different ways we choose to spend our time And I know that there are differing priorities But it seems that yours is stuck in 1982 And all the pain you worry about today Just leave behind Just listen up and say it's for the birds It's for the birds for the birds, it's for the birds. One thing you always say is look out for yourself. Nobody else is gonna keep you safe and make you satisfied. And there's something that I just can't come to terms with. So you can keep yourself protected from society and all the friends you don't belong the way. You and they'll say it's for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. And if you open up your eyes and look around, you'll start to find that you gave up the for something worse Pretending that you are much better than the other people Finding fault in things that don't align with what you want to hear Believing everything that you were told when you were growing up After all your happiness is all that matters in the end Rejecting others for the way that they decide to live their lives Denying every single fact you know that deep down is the truth Intimidating, sad and scared is the So that is it, we are done. That is our final mastered version. It's taken us 30 days, but we have a final mastered version of my song for the birds. And there's only one thing left 
to do, and that is to release this song. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how I release my music to Apple Music, to iTunes, to Spotify, to Google Play, to all of the online music and streaming platforms. So join me for that next video. Thank you once again for watching this series and for all of your comments and your encouragement and your feedback and your support throughout the whole series. We've got one more to go. We're gonna release this song in the month of March. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.